All right, hello physics. Welcome to week four. So this week um, we are going to be solving circuits, um, taking it to the next level. So we're going to be solving for individual components. So let me show you what I mean. If we have, say, a simple circuit where we just have two resistors that are in series, um, we're going to talk about, so I'll call this R1, R2, we're going to talk about these individual resistors and kind of what's going on with them. So thus far, um, we figured out how to find R total and the current total based on the total voltage. So let's say we have a 9 volt battery. And let's say these are 100 ohms each. Then we know that um, the voltage total of this circuit is 9 volts, right? The voltage of the battery. We know resistance total because they're in series. We can just add up R1 plus R2, and that equals 200 ohms. And then we know the current total is equal to the total voltage over the total resistance, which is 9 divided by 200 equals 0 0.045 okay amps so these are stuff we've done so far right we if we have a resistance series we can add them to find total resistance if we have the voltage and the resistance divide those to get current um but what we're going to talk about this week is what about what if i wanted to know what is the voltage in resistor one how much voltage is across resistor one? Or what about the voltage in resistor two? Okay, do they do they share the same voltage? Is it different? And what about the current? Or in each? <clears throat> do they share the same current? So we're gonna talk about individual components. Um and how we can solve for what we're going to call this. So we're going to call this, for example, this would be V1, and this would be I1. So we're going to talk about how do we find the voltage and current in a, each resistor in a circuit. We're going to find it very useful because if you want to know how much current is passing through one component of your circuit so that it doesn't receive too much current or it's, it's not too little current, for example, like if a light bulb receives too little current, it's not going to light up at all. So you want to be able to solve for those individual values. Um, it's going to be much more useful than just solving for the total. So what we'll find is that if we're in series or in parallel, um, either the voltage across all the components will be the same or the um, current across all components are the same. Um, and there's, we'll develop these rules for um, how the voltage of the current compares to one another rather than series or parallel. Okay, so and those would be very important. That's really the only way we're going to solve these. And so we're going to build off what we know. Um, and I'll take you to the simulation next to show you how we'll get those rules. All right, so here I have just a kind of broken circuit, um, looks a little messy, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one bulb and then I'm gonna keep adding them in series and we're gonna see what happens um, to brightness and what this is about current and all that stuff. So if I just connect this one bulb, so this is gonna look a little messy to start, but you'll see what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna connect this one bulb. Um, I made it very bright. We have 30 volts, 10 ohms, okay, so very bright. So if I added another bulb in series, what do we expect to happen? Okay. So what happened? The both bulbs are dimmer than the one wants to start. Okay. Um, and then if I even add a third in series, okay, it is each one is dimmer than the one was to start. Okay, so if I go back to the one that at the start, oops, very bright. Okay, so 
we know that as we add bulbs in series, the bulbs get dimmer and dimmer and dimmer each resistor you add. Okay, so why is that? Well, we know that adding in series, um, you add resistance so that the resistance increases, okay? And as resistance increases, it slows current down. So let's go back to our recap notes from first week. The So we know that adding resistors in series decreases the total current because it increases the total resistance, okay? So we just add them up. So if current goes down, brightness is going down. So what this means is that if the total current is going down, um, but they're all the same brightness, what this shows us is that each time I'm adding a resistor, I'm slowing that current, but they're all sharing the same current. As you see, if you look at the current going through these uh, resistors, it's all the same speed. They all, the one current as it enters this bulb, it has to go into this bulb, it has to go into this bulb before it gets back to the battery, okay? So they all share the same current. Um, and, and you can tell that as it slows down more and more, they all get dimmer. So let's go over to our notes again. So if we're in series, then all resistors share the same current. So for example, if we had say two resistors like we have up there, I1 is equal to I2, meaning the current in R1 is equal to the current in R2, or the current through R1 is equal to the current through R2. You might think, I think of current as a flow, right? So if you look at our circuit at the top that we have, I1 is equal to I2. Um, but we don't have, like, so, that's true, but we don't have I1 or I2. All we have is the I total. Okay, so what do we do with that? So I total is the current that is flowing through the whole circuit. Um, really, it's the current that's coming out of the battery. So this is equal to really I of the battery, you might say. So the total current is just the current. If I made this one resistor, the current coming out of the battery to go to that one resistor is 0 0.045 amps. Okay, so that current is right flowing right into R1 and out of R2. So really, if you think about it, this battery is in a series with R1 and R2, right? You can see that that all, all of them are in series. So that means that this is also equal to the current of the battery or the current total, same thing, because they're all in series. So that means that I1 is equal to 0 0.045, and I2 is also equal to 0 0.045, okay? So that is how we would solve those. And now, let's talk about voltage. So I'm just gonna erase this parallel for now, because we're gonna talk about series, and we'll come back to parallel. So if I want to find voltage, well, I have current and I have resistance, right? So what am I going to do? I'm going to use Ohm's law. So V equals IR, voltage equals current times resistance. So if I want to find V1, voltage in resistor 1, I would take the current 1 um, times resistance 1. So I just found that current 1 is 0 0.045 and my resistance one is 100 ohms, each resistor is 100. So that would give me voltage one, which would be 0 0.045 volts. Or sorry, 4.5 volts, my bad. 
I try to do things in your head when you're not super confident. Okay. So then if I want to find voltage two, same thing equals I two times R two. So I two is also 0.045. R two is also a hundred. So it looks like voltage two is also 4.5 amps. So now I have the current in each resistor and the voltage in each resistor, which means I solved the circuit entirely. Okay, but let's talk about what was the implications of this. So what was my total voltage? Let's look at the circuit. My voltage, my total voltage was nine volts. Okay. And each resistor has 4.5 volts. Okay, what is 4.5 relative to 9? It's a half. So if I look at this, right, V, so 4.5 plus 4.5 will give me a total 9 again. So what this means is that V1 plus V2 seems to equal the total voltage. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, so it looks like for series, all resistors share the same current and voltage across each resistor, resistor in series adds up to total voltage. Okay, so these are both two very important things is that all resistors share the same current and the voltage across each resistor adds up to the total voltage of the battery. Okay, we also see that the voltage are also the same. V1 actually equals V2. Um, but this isn't always true, okay? So I wanna show you an example where it's not true. So here we have a circuit that is slightly different. Um, we just have R1 is now 200 instead of 100. Okay, it's the only difference. So let's run through this. We're gonna run through it quick. Um, of, let's solve the same thing. So uh, R total would be added the resistors. So 200 plus 100 equals 300 ohms. I total is equal to uh, V total over R total. So nine divided by, oops, nine divided by 300. So that would equal quick point zero three amps. Okay. And um, then we know that I total equals I1 equals I2, oops, because they're all in series, okay? Current in series is the same as we just found out in the last one. So these all equal 0 0.03. So then if I wanna find voltage, so V1 is equal to I1 times R1. So in this case, it would be 0 0.03 times 200 ohms, because that is R1 if we look over the circuit. So then that would be six volts. Okay, so V2, let's do the same thing. I2 times R2. So I2 is 0 0.03, but R2 is 100. So as you can tell, we should get a different result. So this would equal three volts. Okay, so what do we see? That, so two very important observations. Earlier I said that the voltage across each resistor adds up to the total voltage. So is that still true? So what is V1 plus V2? So six plus not three does equal nine volts. Okay, so that's the total voltage. So they still add up to be nine volts, but V1 does not equal V2. Okay, so although the currents are equal, um, 
the voltage across them are not equal. Okay. So why is that? Why were they equal before? Why are they equal now? They're not equal now. Well, it was true before with resistance. So before they were the same resistance, but now there are different resistances. So even though the current's the same, if they're in series, no matter what the resistance, the uh, voltage across them changes, but it still adds up to be total voltage. So two facts about the resistors in series is that they share the same current and the voltage across them will add up to be the total voltage. Okay, so let's next talk about parallel and what we find is equal there. So let's look at the simulation again. All right, so here I do the same thing where I'm going to keep adding in parallel. We're going to see what happens. Um, so I'm going to add this one resistor. Okay, it's going to be the same as before. It's not as bright, I make it as high voltage. Um, but there is our brightness. So let me add the next one in parallel and watch what happens. Watch carefully. Okay, so what happened? Uh, so this one now lights up. It is the same brightness as this guy, but um, th the brightness of this one did not change. So let's look at this again. So if you look at resistor one here, look at it, and then there's the brightness didn't change whatsoever, and they're all the same brightness. So it seems like. Um, the current in each one is the same in this case, but no matter what happened, the brightness uh, didn't change. Let's look at look at if you look at the current running through this battery, and then we cut this. You see how it slowed down there, and it speeds up if I add another um, parallel. So let's look at our notes again. So we know this is because the adding resistors actually increases the total current and it decreases because it decreases the total resistance. Okay. So this is slightly different or it's very different that the current's actually going up and up and up, but we see that the brightness doesn't change. Okay. So even though the current total, the current going through the battery is increasing, it seems like the brightness in each bulb isn't changing. Okay, and if you remember back again, um, we said that the current's actually splitting. If you look at this junction here, some of the current goes down one path and some of it keeps going. So the current um, splits. So even though the current total increases, it has to split across these bulbs. So what that means is that the current for parallel, current. Splits. Current splits between bulbs, between resistors, and isn't all the same. Okay, so it looks like they're all the same, right? Because they're all the brightness, it is all the same. But like, if I change this resistor, let's say I make this one. 30 ohms, I make this one 7 ohms. See how this one's brighter, this one's dimmer. So we're all getting different currents with different resistances. But this one still didn't change. It's still the same brightness no matter what I did to those. Okay. So the current is split and it changes. So it's not all equal. But what is equal is that the voltage across each light bulb is the same. So if you look, if you think about it, each light bulb is connected to the ends of the battery. So if this battery is nine volts, this bu this bulb has a wire connecting to that end. This bulb has a wire connecting to that end. This bulb has a wire connecting to that end, and so forth. Right? That's how we define parallel. And what that results in is that the voltages across each bulb are equal. So for parallel, 
voltage across each resistor oops resistor is equal so like v1 equals v2 if i had a circuit where i have two resistors in parallel r1 and r2 the voltage across each of them is equal so let's talk more about this circuit and solve it like we did before okay so um, i just redrew this circuit uh, added values and such so let's talk about um, based on this being true we just these rules uh, let's solve for voltage and current in each resistor so um let's find as we did before our total so we have um resistors in parallel so we do not add them up we add them in parallel which is one over resistance one plus one over resistance two to the negative one okay so this is really important that we add them this way because they're in parallel well, i'm seeing a lot of people do have errors with this where they just want to add them like they're in series um so i have another video talking about uh readdressing that um talking about the importance of that so Remember, if they're in parallel, you add them like this. If they're in series, you add them like normal, but that's important. So this would be 166.7 ohms when I add them this way. Okay, so that's my total resistance. So current total is equal to voltage total over resistance total. So that would equal 9 volts divided by 166.7 which is equal to 0 0.054 amps. Okay, so let's see. The voltage, so we know V1 is equal to V2. And similar as before is that, well, we don't know V1 or V2, but these are they're not only are they in parallel with each other, they're in parallel with the battery in this case. So the bat voltage of the battery is, as I said in when I was going through the simulation, is that the voltage is spread is is, is connected each end of the battery. So if, if from here to here is nine volts, so from here to here, and here to here, and here to here, they're all they're all connected on the same ends. So across all of them is nine volts. So this is equal to the voltage of the battery, which is equal to nine volts. So V1 equals nine volts, V2 equals nine volts. So how do we solve for current? So I1, so right, same thing, V1 equals R, I1 times R1. So if I solve for I1, if I divide by R1, I1 is equal to V1 divided by R1. So nine volts divided by uh, R1 is five, sorry, 250. So that would be 0 0.036. Okay, now V2 equals I2 times R2. So same thing, I2 would equal V2 over R2. So V2 is also nine volts as we see up here. But V2 is 500 ohms. So 9 divided by 500 would give us 0 0.018 amps. Okay. So we see that I2 is not equal to R2. So I2 is not, e sorry, I1 is not equal to I2. Okay. This is I1. And this is I2. They're not equal. Um, but something interesting, as we saw before, is that let's let's add them up like we did before and just see what happens. So 0 0.036 plus 0 0.018 equals 0 0.054.
Well, look familiar? Yep, that is the total current. So, it looks like I1 plus I2 equals I total. So for resistors in parallel, the current splits between the resistors and isn't all the same. Um, but current adds to current in each resistor adds to the total. So like I1 plus I2 equals I total. Okay, so these are very important facts. Oops, for resistors in uh, parallel. So let's look at um, a summary. So the what we saw is that for series, The resistors have all this, each resistor in series shares the same current, and voltage across them adds up to the total voltage, like this. Oops. It adds up. Okay, so um, very similarly, the parallel, it's like, it's like the same but opposite, is that the voltage is equal, for parallel, but the current adds up to the total. Okay, so for, let's write a summary real quick. So for, say we have resistors, two resistors in each circuit. So for series, let's say we have three resistors. So for series, current is equal. Oops, that was not good. current is equal. So I1 equals I2 equals I3 for three. But for parallel, voltage is equal. So like V1 equals V2 equals V3. Also for series, Voltage adds to total. So V1 plus V2 plus V3 equals V total. And for parallel, the uh, current adds to total. So I1 plus I2 plus I3 equals I total, okay? Something else important is that, as I said before, is that these currents are all equal and they should equal the voltage total, or the current total of the battery, and this would equal the voltage of the battery. Okay, so if they're in series with the battery, same current, voltage, if they're in parallel with the battery, same voltage. Okay, so this is the summary. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to solve some series circuits. We're going to do exactly what I did in the first example. Some uh, parallel circuits, just like I did in the second example. Okay, you're just solving based on the values given. Um, same process, so go through and watch that again if you need review. Um, and then I'm going to give you one mixed circuit. Okay, it's going to be a little more challenging because you're going to have series and parallel. You have to do some more steps of solving, but uh, that's where we're gonna start. So best of luck and contact me with questions.